I think it's thrilling whenever you're reproducing something that you're thinking about who produced this over a hundred years ago. It's a fun connection to our past to be able to be working with that kind of a historical renovation. The church was built in 1885. All of the windows have a meaning. My favorite is the big window that we just replaced because of the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the significance of that, and it's just so big. For me personally, this church is a great symbol of my, my faith, and it's a great symbol of, um, I think, a shining city on the hill representing you know, the Catholic community here in Bells Falls. It's definitely different from a lot of the routine millwork that we do on a daily basis. This is a very different product that required a lot of innovation and creative thought along the way to develop a new process for how we're going to create this customized window. So there was a leak on the seal, that's how this whole process started it, which led to the new frame, which led to the windows need to be re -leaded, and then it's now led to the process of reinstalling the new frame, as well as reinstalling the historic restoration on the windows that we have done. So yes, very simple, that's how it came to be. <laughs> So it's, a, it's an interesting level of craftsmanship that's a little hard to describe because it's not all that straightforward. If you look at that window, there's not a straight piece in the window. And to be honest, we looked at that when we first started looking at how we were going to do this. And I think all of us thought, I don't know how we're going to put this together. Every day we'd hit those new roadblocks or challenges and, and we would always be figuring out ways to get around them and ways to use our tooling to make it happen. But we also kind of always had that reminder of, wow, how did they do this 150 years ago? The craftsmanship part of it is specialized. Most people that are carpenters can learn how to do this work because it's carpentry. When you're installing windows, extracting them, you're working on a window, even though it's a stained glass window, it is carpentry. But you have to have high and well-developed carpentry skills to really understand and know what you're doing. You know, it was boarded up, it was interesting. We all kept looking at it like, oh, what's going on? You know, it was almost like depressing to kind of look at it. And now the window being replaced, sun shining through and just the glass sparkling and the light. Really, again, it represents our faith here in this community, but it also represents a beautiful structure that you don't see churches or cathedrals like this anymore. This kind of work is fun no matter how you look at it. If it was a brand new window, it's a challenging piece of craftsmanship to create something like that, but it's an additional pleasure to be able to do something that's local. You know, we like to do work with local companies, local businesses, we like working with our neighbors and doing something that affects the world close to around where we live. I think the Irish Catholic is smiling down on us from heaven because it's, it's exactly what they had in there to begin with, which is perfect.